Have you ever wondered if our history books are missing a few chapters? What if I told you that our ancestors might have discovered electricity thousands of years before Benjamin Franklin ever flew his kite? Let's talk about a mystery that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about the ancient world, the Baghdad Battery. Picture this. In 1938, near modern-day Baghdad, archaeologists unearthed a small, unassuming clay jar. It was just over five inches tall, nothing you'd look at twice. But inside, they found something that baffled them. A copper cylinder, and suspended inside that, an iron rod held in place by an asphalt plug. This simple-looking pot, dating back over 2,000 years, had all the components of a basic galvanic cell, a battery. Now scientists were stumped. They tested replicas, and guess what? When they filled the jar with a common acidic liquid like vinegar or grape juice, it produced a small but steady electrical current, about half a volt. It worked. This wasn't just a pot. It was a potential power source. The question then became, what on earth were ancient people doing with electricity? The most popular theory is electroplating. Imagine ancient artisans using this electrical current to coat cheaper metals like copper with a thin layer of gold or silver. It would have been a revolutionary technique, allowing them to create stunning, shimmering jewelry and ornaments that looked like solid, precious metal. Think of it as ancient magic, powered by science they had somehow mastered. Other ideas suggest it might have been used in healing rituals. Some scholars propose that priests could have hidden these batteries inside statues or idols. Worshippers touching the idol would feel a slight tingle, a mysterious divine energy, making their spiritual experience feel incredibly real and powerful. Could this have been the secret behind ancient miracles? Of course, some experts are skeptical. They argue that the jar might have just been for storing sacred scrolls and the metallic parts were simply part of the container's structure with no electrical purpose at all. But the specific arrangement of the copper and iron is just too perfect, too similar to the batteries we'd invent millennia later. It's a coincidence that's hard to ignore. So, was this an isolated invention, a happy accident by a forgotten genius? Or is the Baghdad battery a clue to a much wider, lost understanding of technology? We may never know for sure, but it challenges us to keep an open mind about the past. Perhaps our ancestors were far more advanced than we give them credit for. What do you think? Was it for electroplating, religious experiences, or something else entirely? Let me know your theories in the comments below. If you love exploring the mysteries of history, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Thanks for watching. For